Well, tonight, new controversial rules in Florida schools. Now, this comes just hours after the State Department of Education passed new policies. The changes reinforce the parental rights and education law dubbed by critics as the don't say gay law. But 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio shares why some say today's vote could put jobs in jeopardy. Public schools should not be a place to push sexual ideology. Teachers in Florida may lose their licenses if they challenge the so-called don't say gay law. Sexualization is not taught. What is taught is inclusiveness. In what was at times a ruckus. We are the teachers. We are the good ones. Don't be confused. Those opposing the board argue teachers are not indoctrinating kids. And the rule further marginalizes the LGBTQ community. And I graduated as a gay man, um, especially because I had the support of teachers. Governor DeSantis already signed the parental rights bill into law this past March. It was the board's job to implement it. So we're talking about teachers who are breaking the law. Under the rule, Florida educators shall not intentionally teach K through three students about sexual orientation or gender identity. If they do, their licenses face revocation or suspension. We're talking about kids third grade and below. Let's stick to the fundamentals of teaching math, English, science. Critics also worry about the impact on teacher shortages. Not the right move, especially not a teacher shortage. You should be able to tolerate opposing views, as we do, and help us make better rules. The board voted unanimously without debate. Motion carries. Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay. Now another rule that's prompting backlash. Schools must alert parents of bathroom or lockers separated according to some criteria other than biological sex at birth. Critics say that's an attack on transgender students. Supporters say it's about parental rights.